welcome everyone in my youtube channel educated jeevan in today's video guys i will give you idea about the settings in google form so that you can prevent cheating or you can prevent the cheating google forms by your students you are if you are taking examination in google form or if you are taking test in the google form then yes definitely you guys need to know all the settings that i'm going to discuss today so guys maybe this video will be quite longer today but guys watch each and everything very carefully so that you can prevent cheating in google forms so let's start the today's topic and guys if you don't know how to create and uh, other things regarding the google forms then i have already made a video on it so you can go through those as well so now let's start the today's topic so first thing that you need to do here is just well you are making a questions yes you know how to make the questions so far if you don't know just check my tutorials about it yes the first thing is you can see near this required options in every questions you will see there is a when you, there is a three dot and when you click in the three dot you will get the softball option order so when you just shuffle that means that the options of this the order of the option here if you talk in my case botany geology biology physics then the order will be different to the different students so that the student cannot you know share the answers so easily and similarly if you go to the next question also yes you can go to the three dot over here and just shuffle order this is the one setting that you can make so that the uh answers answers order or the options order will be random so this will make the students quite difficult to uh share the answers between them and uh, next thing is uh there is in setting you can see in the presentation when you go in the presentation then yes even there is a softball question order yes you can click here and just save over here when you shuffle the question order then the question one two three four the order of the questions will be different to the different participant or to the different students after that okay now let's uh there is more two more settings that really that, that really very very important for you guys and if you are not uh, changing those two settings then definitely your students are cheating in google forms the the exams that you are taking in the google forms so for this uh, again let's go to the setting in general yes you can see that the require sign in it's if you just limit to the one response don't forget that the only one student can you know just uh, fill the form only one time so after this let me check whether this uh yeah just is uh, make a quiz let's make a quiz first then i will just show you after that let's go for the answer key uh for this okay this is a biology and uh, i want to increase the points okay sorry it's, uh, just two and it's done similarly i'll go with the uh, question this let's go to the answer key and yes it's a camel over here and i want to give two points okay i i just changed this form into the quizzes now yes you know how to share the link right either you can share the link this one or you can even keep this into the your google classroom or simply you can go to the send option and yes you can go to the link even you can shorten the link and you just copy that one and you can just share to the student i have already have made a video on it also if you want to see clearly you can just see that in that video also now yes uh, uh, like let's say one of the students is going to do a form like you are sharing you, you had shared a link now yes i'm coming to the different gmail yes now here i will just go for clicking here randomly let's see okay after that i will hit the submit now see here i have already submitted the form that means the response has been recorded right my response is already recorded over there i have already limit 
you know i have already limited the response that means i can only send one time so there's no submit option again otherwise you will get the submit form again also now when the student uh, you know uh, give the response or just send the response now here when he or she click in the view score what will happen now you just see here you can see here the students can get the correct option over here see the correct answer is a biology correct camel that's the correct answer is camel so see the student will get the you know the correct options by viewing the score and they can even go to the same link by the different account you can even see right now i can do in the same way you can see here i can go to it in from the different gmail account and yes i can you know correct i can just see from here the correct option i will see the correct option from here okay first one is the biology so i will click okay it's, you can see the even the shuffle you know I, we, we have already shuffled the order so yes the question already shuffled over here and here biology next one is camel yes by looking the question see here but sorry by looking the answer yes i can easily by looking the answer from here i can come up with the next gmail id and i can submit the correct option here yes this thing can be done by your student maybe they are doing so you need to check this thing if you don't prevent this thing then definitely your student will cheat in google forms there's no meaning of taking exams in google form so for that uh okay i will just uh, give you uh, how to change the setting again just come over here and yes when you go to the you just go to the quizzes yes after you go to the quizzes what you can do here is you can just uncheck the correct answers don't let the respondent see the correct answer yes if you do this thing and save it now you can see here when i try to open and try to fill it now let's see what will happen when you share with the students i'm going i'm, I'm coming with the different id that means i have already responded okay that means uh, i cannot get a permission so what i do here is i simply go to the responses and i will delete all the responses first okay then yes again i will come up with the different id and then i will show you when i change the setting then what things will happen i can i can show you here clearly now yes it is opening is right now you can just choose one of the you can even see that the other of the options is also softening over the right time and again when you just check the same google form also so let's go with the different wrong one so that it will be easy to show you now yes the student i submitted now you can see here there is a view score when i view this score now the student yes will only he or she cannot see the correct answer he or she will only see whether his answer is correct or incorrect but yes now he cannot see the correct answer so if you do this one then definitely the student cannot cheat easily in the google forms they cannot cheat almost they cannot cheat anything in the google forms so this is the setting that you need to do in the google forms still there is one setting that you can do here so i will show that one as well to you so again let's go to the setting over here and yes uh, you just you 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 can click the email addresses as well after that you can go to the quizzes and you can see here later after manual review turn on the email not email collections yes we have already turned on that so you can just check over here later manual review then you can just click the save over here now let's check what the thing will happen again let's 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 come up with the new id that means as a student and yes you can see that now it is asking me my gmail id right and then i am supposed to hit the answer here okay let's write and let's go for my gmail id
okay after that i will hit the summit over here now see your response has been recorded right i didn't get the option of view score in previously i i used to get the view score now now i cannot view the student as a student i cannot view the score in the google forms so uh until and unless the teacher want to release the response then only i can see here now you can see here just go down now you can see the score over here my score is zero and yes there is a release of scores until and unless the teacher want to release the score i won't get the marks or whatever points i have obtained in my google exam so until and unless the teacher won't send it and release it yes i will be unknown to that one so these are the very these are the very very important setting that you need to change in the google form so that your student won't able to cheat in google exam or google or the exam that you are taking from the google form so let's revise in quick the first thing that you need to do is you can shuffle the options order yes just just on it the next thing is you just go to the settings and when you go to the settings then yes the second thing that you need to do is shuffle the question order you need to check the uh, shuffle question order after that the next thing that you can do is the collect email address and next one is just limit to one response so that a student or the respondent can only send once and the finally yes over here if you make this immediately after the submission also if you release the mark immediately but be sure that you have unchecked the correct answer you just be sure you are unchecking this one or simply what you can do is you can do the letter after the manual review and yes the teacher then finally after collecting all the forms all the responses from the students and now finally the teachers can release their marks so these are all the settings that you need to do while taking the exam in a google forms so that your student cannot cheat in the google forms exam or in google form quiz thank you everyone i hope this video is very much useful for you guys and if you love my video and find it very much useful then don't forget to share it and uh, one more thing guys if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel educator jeevan hit the subscribe button and just don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive the notification for the future videos bye bye all